right? The thing you want to prevent, right, is this. The closing up the gap and then, no, or just this one, in you know, your sword on one of my on one of my sabers, oh. right? What you're going to try to do is you're going to try to cross them up, okay? Okay, so what you want to do is when he's when he's got his sabers apart, right? You know, so when his next one starts coming in, you're going to try to to keep that shield. You you got to try to keep these together, right? Mm -hmm. Because okay. if he separates them, then I can get. So what I'm going to do is, well, you have the right idea. You're going to try to get, when you engage, you try to get on that side so that he can't quite reach you with that other one. And you try to keep both of those sabers crossing his body. Okay. Right? If you don't, if I do this, you see? Right. That's exactly what that is going to do, is open up and then clear spot. Right? And it doesn't matter where it's from. If I'm there, boom, it's coming down from below. I'm going over here, it's coming over there. So you want me to stay connected for just like maybe a millisecond and then keep moving, you mean? Well, the point is, is that I want right. to try to constantly keep forcing his, away. You know, his blades into each other. Okay, right. gotcha. You see what I mean? Because yes. as soon as I get bound up in each other, all of a sudden my blades become pretty worthless. Right. Yep. Like this. This is why you don't want to do the, the static X block. Yeah. You know, right. ha! Yeah, no. I remember that video. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's something to keep in mind when you're... Uh...